voters and friends of Chao Chu Kang, the last five years has been an eventful term as the economy emerged from SARS and recovery began to pick up in 2008, crisis struck again with the global financial crisis. Towards the end of 2008, our economy began to slow down. We were fearful of the potential impact of the global crisis on Singapore. We were uncertain how long or how severe the crisis will be, or how many Singaporeans will be affected. We therefore took decisive actions to minimize the impact of the crisis. The government, together with our tripartite partners, introduced SPUR, Skills Program for Upgrading and Resilience, in December 2009. We brought forward the budget and rolled out the resilience package, including the jobs credit. We avoided massive retrenchment and high unemployment rates. By the second half of 2009, our economy began to turn. While many economies in the rest of the world, including the United States, are still struggling. By working together, we help companies cope with the recession and help our workers keep their jobs. In the first quarter this year, we saw the economy grew by 8.5%. 23,000 jobs were created, while unemployment dropped to 1.9%. For the whole year, we expect a healthy growth of between 4 to 6%. NWC just announced their recommendations that employers should give their workers higher total wage increases this year. This is indeed good news. But how do we ensure that Singaporeans' wages will continue to grow over the long term, and not just this year? Many opposition parties also want to raise wages. This is an outcome I'm sure all parties wish to achieve. But it is important for us to consider which idea will really work. It's like running a race. All of us want to get ahead and win. Many have different ideas how we can win. One way is to get rid of all those that can run faster than us so that we are the only one running and therefore we can win. Another way is to set rules to disallow others from running faster than us and therefore we are the only one that can run faster. These are ways for us to win, true, but the win is not real and not sustainable. In the real world of global competition, we cannot get rid of other competitors and we cannot set rules ourselves unilaterally. The real solution is to train hard and, to, and put on the best shoes. This is what the PAP government is doing. There is no shortcut. It requires a lot of commitment and hard work from every one of us. But it is the real solution. For the PAP government, we are doing three things to help us get ahead and grow Singaporeans' income faster. Create more job opportunities that pay better. Helping Singaporeans acquire the skills to take on these better paying jobs. Improve productivity so that we can continue to grow Singaporeans' income over the long run. First, creating opportunities. We must continue to put in the right policies to keep Singapore competitive so that we can attract good investments and create more and better jobs for us. I Am Flesh is a recent example of how we were able to create good jobs for our workers. However, if we adopt the wrong policies, we will not be able to attract these investments. Or worse, good businesses already here may decide to scale down or move out. We will lose jobs. Singaporeans' income will fall and Singapore will lose. This is why we must adopt the right policies to achieve sustainable growth and create jobs.